one invitational edition number two kill sent up against Garpy here on Battleforged first? Okay, it must be Battleforged first then, Toxicity. My bad. I thought Battleforged was the fourth map. Probably not. So, obvious prediction is got to be kill sent here um, by a long shot. I don't even think it's going to be close. Uh, but we'll see, Garpy's aim has been improving, as has his game on most maps. So. Let's watch Garpy off the spawn and see what exactly he can do. He's going to get this red armor to start with. He does have that railgun as well. And one of the weapons you need to try and deny Kilsen of is the railgun. And I think this map is very difficult to do so on. So we'll have to see. And already Garpy having difficulty finding Kilsen, as did Demon. There's the Miss Railgun as well. And great, great rockets from Kilsen. Coming in aggressively. There's the first frag. Just in time for red armor as well. We've got yellow and mega coming up, so those are obviously going to be his as well. And he'll be able to take this mega and go straight through towards the yellow. Oh, wow, wow, messy, messy fight there, Garvey picking up the frag. Could potentially get in on this yellow as well if he's quick. Unfortunately, Kilsan did spawn on that side of the map and did go toward him. And in comes Kilsan with that rocket launcher. Smart move by Garvey to bounce back onto that pad and. Look for the second best of LG in the air against Kilsen's Rocky. It wasn't going to happen, but even so, there's the Railgun off the spawn. So only one frag deficit still at the moment. Kilsen not quite in the clear yet this early on. And later in a few seconds, you can hear the buzz of that LG from Kilsen just below. Oh, nice, nice play from Garby to double back on that mega health. I'm not quite sure why he didn't go for the rocket jump straight to red, but nonetheless, that was a very, very unlucky spawn. Garpy gonna pick up that frag. And, uh, look at this, setting straight back up for that round, and knew exactly where Killsome was going. And there's the fifth, two frag lead. Problem is for Garpy, we got red and mega at the same time, so. Unless Garpy can set up a nice offensive attack in between the two items just before they spawn, he's going to have to settle for one. I mean, he did do quite a lot of damage there. Kilsen going to this red. Well, Garpy would be wise just to back off and wait for a better fight now. You can hear him low. That's what I mean. You need to take the 50, but. Still, Garpy with that mega health and the majority of it is in good position. Nice, nice aggressive rocket there, direct to the face of Kilsen. Almost great from Kilsen as well there, Garpy. Opting to take the red armor after the fight. Interesting. That would pay off for him. No, three frag lead. That bass pad. Nice play from Garpy there. 7 to 3 now, and this is a result I wasn't expecting already, but still plenty of time as Kilsen will pick up himself one of his own. Back to him as well. Still only 25 HP. I think that's enough for one Rao. I think Railgun with armor does 23. Could be wrong. In fact, I'm going to calculate it in his next fight if he gets railed. Right now, Gar Kilsen just trying to defend this mega from Garpy. Didn't time that one. Let's push onto the red as well. Fails the rocket jump though. Wasn't too much to gain from it. Still plenty of time with three frags difference. Too much of an issue that he makes those small mistakes just yet. And of course if they keep mounting up, it will become a problem. For the German. And actually, looking at the way Garpy's been playing, especially on Toxicity and Hectic earlier on, this score in some ways doesn't surprise me because he's able to play that very defensive game but can quite easily turn on the aggression with those rockets when you need to. He's just playing it like Kilsen is, and it's working in his favour at the moment. I'll switch on to him. I accidentally used my bind. Kilsen through the teleporter just in time for red armor. Is out. Garpy's LG good enough? Not quite. Kilsen there with the frag. Now, two frag deficit. He's got a few seconds before this mega health. Kilsen opting for those shots before he takes the mega. 
Not quite with full HP though, so finally getting 150, and there's the Raugen taking him down to 1 2 1. So, mega negated already. Aggressive yeah, pushing from Garpit. I'm gonna matter. Kill some with the Raugen. Kirsten does like this rocket position. He's been a watchful eye on that Raugen. Spam Garpy below him. Garpy though, getting away. Kirsten almost fell in the jump, having to double up with a second rocket. This in time for Red though, denying it away from Garpy. And this is it for Kirsten. He has to put it on now. This frag is easily his. Easily. Garpy must probably be below 100. Yeah, 95-35. Nice first rocket from Kilson. There's the frag. Tying it up now. And with decent-ish ties between the items. Should be able to get in on everything here. Still opting to make sure he saves the mega health by doing damage to Garpy Annie. But again, he's still denying. He's still leaving them up. He's giving away the mega now. Interesting move. We saw Kilson do this earlier on as well against one of his earlier opponents. He's very famous for doing it as well. Delaying all the items and then giving away one of the important ones just when he need not. Still 7-7. Seven, seven. Four minutes remaining. Garpy must be in a good position. Yeah, he's got 130 and 100. I, I would say probably even at the moment. 200 armor probably swaying more in Kilsen's favor. Nice little battle here for uh, Kilsen. Surely should come out of this okay. Railgun missed by Garpy as well. Garpy needs to back away. Can't stay. In fact, Kilsen looking like he wants to chase him. I don't want to see Kilsen give up this red to Garpy from Garpy coming back in. So hopefully Kilsen will stick around, pick it up. Mega in 10. And the way this is going, it may see a first overtime in this tournament. You know, mega pickup from Garpy just when it mattered. We'll get out of it. So we'll kill Sam. We got red coming up. I think Garpy will come charging in, surely. Oh, he's looking to set up the trap instead. Nice, Ralgan. Kilsen got to be weak, still able to take two rail guns. Kilsen going to bring out one of his own. There's the rocket and the rail, though. Garpy will go into the lead for the first time in this game, or second time in this game. And a bit of a self exchange there. Who got the better spawn? Kilsen with the Mega, the LG. You know, Red and Mega up as well. Red will go to Garpy. He's going to be caught out on this bounce pad. He has nothing to his name. I don't think I've ever seen anybody be caught on that bounce pad like that. Connecting with that route. 9 to 9 now. Kilsen takes a shot into the face for the efforts though. Has to make sure he gets this red armor. And I don't think he's going to be able to push in. Instead opting to pick up the railgun. In fact, Garpeat was by the yellow armor instead. So you would say Kilsen's game to win now. He wants it. Nice Ralgan. Missing the second one. Got red up in just a few seconds. Kilsen, don't give it up. Garpy. Ralgan finally picking one up. Oh, nice direct from Garpy. Can he move in? I don't think so. Kilsen. Showing everybody how to push back here on Battle Force yet again. But Garpy going to come in with that LG, going to pick up the frag. Go 1 0 up now. We got Mega and Red at the same time. If I was Garpy, I'd be looking to get the Mega rather than the Red, especially after that round. But wow, Kilsen's in a great position here to uh, deal damage out onto Garpy. I might even lose out on the Mega as well. Kilsen again making a small mistake, not going for any of those items. Two frag lead now, and Kilsen has to go in aggressive. Great, great rail from, from Garpy, and I think that rail is going to secure him the win here on Battleforge. Especially that one onto red. There's the third frag lead now. And 
Congratulations to Garpy from taking away Kilson's map. This has put him in great position now. He's been surprising me all through this tournament. As he did for Team Dignitas in the TDM tournament, Dream Hacks number 2011. He's doing here in G Sports Invitational edition number two. Kilson now coming in with the rocket launcher, but only 10 seconds remaining. It is going to be a good game. First map, Garpy. Of 11 final score. Vote now. Vote past. Second map toxicity. Well, I said Kilson should have been favourite for Battleforge. I'm going to say Garpy should be favourite for him and going to get both wrong. No doubt. Second map toxicity, Garpy favourite for me in my opinion, watching him off the spawn, gonna get the yellow and the LG, should be able to easily get on the mega, I don't think Kyosem will be able to challenge too well off the spawn, he will try and get on the railgun though, he'll have to, and he end up trying to rocket him away and actually completely fails the jump and Garpy able to put more damage onto him, there's the first flag, great great LG, 36% straight away, and he's in a great position in this middle of the map as well, nice railgun from Kyosem though, Just trying to connect with those rockets on the Kilson as he looks to make his way towards the LG slash yellow armor. He's actually being heard moving away back towards the Omega Health. He will grab it. Garpy knows that and he's looking to deal as much damage as possible before Kilson grabs too much armor. If we have a look, he's only got 30. So, realistically speaking, he would go down first. He's been knocked down into the toxic. Only 20 HP remaining. Picks up the 25, but the LG from Garpy will allow him to pick up that frag. 2 to 0 now. Great start for Garpy here. They're going to Garpy's to help. Also, they're coming in very aggressively. Wow, bit of a bug there on the wall. Completely fails as he tries to make the jump over towards the Mega Help. Uh, not really his fault. And there's the fourth as well. Garpy's been allowed to get two free red armor so far, but nothing really Kilson can do about it. Ooh, there's two nice rockets. Can he hit the third to finish it off though? Very, very nice aggressive pushing from Kilson. He will manage to pick up the frag. First one on the board for him. Bit of time between these items though. And going for red armor is going to be very difficult, especially with that 50 HP above Garpy. Effectively gives Garpy 150 HP to work with, not just 100. Kilson. Awkward position. Switch on to Garpy. 100, 145. Kill someone with nothing to his name. Let's see what he can do on the defense. He's going to run down the floor. has to look for this kind of damage, otherwise, he's going to have no chance. In fact, drops down to red armor and denies it from Garpy. But wow, so much damage coming out. Garpy also putting out a lot of damage with that LG. I don't think I've seen Garpy, as I say, I keep saying, I don't think I've seen Garpy end this one for a long time. Moving from the Intelling Mass 1.1a to the Razor Abyss. 7 to 1 now. All the good aimers aim with Razor Mouse. I said it. And if they don't, they use the Razor Insides. Map is going to be error wall. <laughs> and uh, 
I want to say that's in Garpy's favour as well. I uh, killed favour, but as we did uh, Battleforge go. No doubt Garpy will surprise everyone. 7 and 1 ahead at the moment. Only 3 minutes in, so. I mean, if Garpy can put out some hefty damage. Oh, Kirsten can put out some hefty damage, you never know. He's still going to pick up the fragment. Have a free red armor to his name. It's not something you always see here. Out from Kilson, but really, wow, going for this red armor is a ballsy move. Is he going to be able to get out of here? Okay, there's only 25 HP bubbles for him. Look, he's so stuck right now. There's two 5 HP bubbles there. He's even opted to go for the Railgun before them. There's the yellow, the, the 25. Still very, very low here. Garpy, all he needs to do is rush in. It's double what Kilson is in the moment, but he's opting to fire from distance. Kilson missing some of those critical rails. Garpy's going to be able to pick up that frag. And the Mega in the red armor. Well, Kilson had a fortunate spawn for it. Okay, I'm going to switch over to Kilson. He's the one who has to make something happen. If you have just tuned in, first map did go in Garpy's favor 12 to 11 on Battlefield. This is toxicity, 9 to 2 at the moment to Garpy. As we hit that 5 minute mark. Wow, great rockets from Kilsen. Garpy caught out in this spawn, but Kilsen not quite hitting the rockets he needed to hit, and going up against that plasma is going to be always awkward. As you can see, just 14 HP remaining. There's no 25 HP bubbles up for him. In fact, I'm not quite sure what he's going to do here. He's got 18 seconds until Mega Health. What should have been a great position for him has suddenly, well, been thrown away from him by that excellent plasma of Garpy. Finally finds the 50. Still though, Garpy getting in on this Mega. Two great Rogans from Kilson. Oh, misses the one that mattered most. That would have made it five. Hits that one though, but well, Garpy took those 225s. He'll still manage to pick up the frag though, but well, the 50 HP isn't up for at least another 10 seconds. We saw Kilson take the last one. Ballsy moved to jump over to the Railgun here. But it will allow him to pick up the frag. That's the 25. The red arm will come to him. He'll rocket jump up towards the 50 HP, surely. Maybe. No. Instead, moving towards the yellow. Now has to go for the 50. No, he's instead going to go for the mega health. I mean, personally, he would have gone for the 50 HP first. That way, you would have had 200 HP to work with. Instead, he's only got 152. But maybe I was mistiming it. I'm sure it was up. Okay. Should have gone in Kilson's favour. Clearly didn't. Garpy with well, 100 HP or less. Managed to pick him up that far. There's another one. Nice rocket as well. Thirteen to five. Really, it is all pretty much over now for Kilson. I don't think there's any way back in to this game. And yeah, there's the forfeit coming out from the German. All down to error wall now. Garby be potentially able to take this in three. Yeah, using the Merit Edition, I thought that might be the case. It is the newest Abyssus out there, so any issues that may have come out with the sensor being unabdayable are likely to have been carried on that version. I think it was the League of Legends one. Uh, I'm not 
sure. It's all theory, of course. I don't know any of this for sure. Two hits. Impressive. And again, third map. Match point for Garpy. Here in the G Sports 1v1 Invitational Three, Edition number two. two. One. Fight. Sent here on arguably his strongest map of what I would have said Battleforge was. Um, well, has to put it out of the bag. Garpy straight off the bat has the Mega. Has that green armor, and it's not yet taken the yellow. She helps him to uh, make sure he keeps his position, not take a route from Kyosen and move in towards this red armor. I mean, he has the armor to jump, armor and help to jump over for it, and he will steal it away. Great play by Garpy at the moment. Surely we'll be able to finish Kyosen off. Kyosen just 28 points of health, one more Railgun, five, six machine gun bullets, but no Kyosen still managing to pick up that frag. Unbelievable play from the German. And a great railgun as well onto Garpy out the teleporter and another one. As he sets himself up to pick up the railgun, Kilsen is turning it on. Initial great play by Garpy and another railgun from Kilsen. It's 83% at the moment. And another one, 84%. Can't fathom how he's managing to hit all of these shots, but they are turning out into his favour. And again off the spawn. Two frags in two seconds. Excellent. It said this would be Kirsten's map with the theory that Garpy would somehow manage to win, but I just don't think it's possible. It, it is definitely going to be Kirsten's map. There is no doubt about it. Sitting 82% Realgrim, 45% Shaft, 83% again. Guy just is unstoppable on this map. 50% positioning, 50% just raw aim, and he just can't stop him. 6 to nil now. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't surprise me to see a forfeit win from Garpy early on. You don't want to really get stomped on here in one versus one. Just ruin your motivation. Wow, great frag. Yeah, look, here we go. Good game. He wants to keep his uh, momentum going into third map. Uh, submit demo to McCormick Kilsen Vote now. Vote there you go. I think I've got you a demo. I Some unbelievable frags in that <laughs> short three minutes on air. Well, if we even made it that far. Prepare to fight. Three, two, one. Fight. So, life here on Furious Heights. I think both players equally strong on this map. I think Garpy has the advantage given that he seems to play it a lot more. Kind of like DM13 in some ways, where you can play very well off the items. So not too many spawn frags here. It can happen if the player gets cocky and tries to go for an item too early. And a bit of a nice RA steal there from Kilsen. Survived from that LG. But not so much useless encounters, but not much coming off of them. Both players still relatively even and actually Kyosen coming in quite aggressive on a Garpy here. Able to hit the Raugen that has allowed him to get onto this Mega and the Yellow Armor. And look at the position he's put himself in. He has 200-200. Garpy will have around about 200 armor in a second but 100 health deficit going to be very awkward for him. He's going to have to play around this upper Raugen area where you can see Kyosen spamming. Try and put a Raugen into Mega health and deny it of Kyosen. Because realistically, he can't go in for a fight. 
Unless he hits a great first rocket, and even then he's hoping for too much. So, I'm going to have to hit a couple of railguns by this mega, and then go for the second one. Staying in for this fight is a little bit ballsy. He's going to have to hope for exceptional LG, but Kyosen hitting just as much accuracy back, 42%. As, uh, picks up the first brag to get on the scoreboard. There you go, that'll be kill sense. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if I was Garpy there, I would have just done damage with a Railgun, fall back. Even if I couldn't do damage, I would have fell back anyway. 100 health, advantage for your opponent is not a good fight to get into. Neither would I say waiting around red here is a good idea, but then again I wouldn't say charging in with plasma is especially great, especially when you have to hit all your shots. It's still going to work out though. We've got mega health coming up. Because then we'll hit the Railgun on the second one. Surely going to be a frag. Should switch out to LG here rather than look for a cocky Railgun to finish. Then we're a bit late here. Nice defensive rockets from Garpy. But I think the 25 would have gone to him. Yeah, 77. Still, Garpy coming in aggressive, and this is not something we're used to seeing from Garpy. He's obviously a lot more confident in his play, which is very nice to see. And still able to get out of that. Finally, though, picked up by Kilsen. Garpy, I think he has to take this one. I think Vertical Vengeance would be in Kilsen's favour given his. Railgun accuracy on Arrow Walk just a short time ago, but great LG. That's the fourth frag. <laughs> nice pushback from Garp here for spawn. Should allow him to get on the Mega Health. Just an option to uh, pick up the real ammo instead. Yeah, mega taken by Garpy. Reds will go towards Kilson. Garpy coming in very aggressive with the rocket. Unfortunately, not going to hit what he wanted. Kilson going to back out towards that yellow armor. He, going through the teleport, I think, would actually be a suicide. I think Garpy might be waiting in there. Yeah, you can see Garpy positioned himself well. So, great play by Kilson to fall back towards the mega side of the map. But again, he can't really challenge. He just needs to look for the rails. And that's exactly why he went for the Railgun ammo. And that's the first. Mega in two seconds. Kilsen now getting one of his own. And a slight advantage guard behind is now falling away from him. And the question is, where is he looking to set up his trap? A little like by for a Railgun. In fact, Kilsen going to be able to uh, pick up his fifth drag. Impressive. Maybe on a sixth there. Not able to finish off with the railgun again. Second time here on Furious Heights he's been able unable to convert into a frag. Guess then we'll grab that mega. Yeah, switch on to Garpy. Next map as Aston Spectator is Radical Rangers. Great great rockets from Garpy. 61 health, still available. Should be careful. Uh, there's the railgun. And again, off the spawn. Okay, no. Garpy's just been given no way into this map. Kill send. Has not been where Garpy's expected him to ambush from. And this then has well taken the fights that Garpy's brought to him when he shot him. Not much more to say, and again here, great defensive rockets. Nice aggressive rockets there to pick up the threat. Not much wrong in Kilson's play at the moment. I do find Kilson to perhaps at times stick around for one too many railguns when he could switch out and uh, frag using another. At least on this map. But he's nine in the lead, what can really 
I mean, you can see on this map, where these pro players' aims are 50% positioning and 50% just raw aim. And here on viewer sites, Kilson's positioning honestly hasn't been as ideal as he's hoped because he has missed some of the rail guns that uh, he should have been hitting. Nice drop down to red here, but Garpy actually going to pick up the frag. Two minutes and 40 seconds, though, I don't think it's possible. Kilson mentions pin, but it actually looks about even to me. Maybe a 10 difference. Nice play by Kilson on the Mega to uh, force himself onto it. I mean, exit round from Garpy weren't as good as he could have hoped for. Surely we'll pick up his uh, second frag here, though. He's got seven frags, he's got two minutes. We'll see. I, I think it's just too easy to run away. He's gonna make it happen. She predicted the teleport entrance a lot earlier, and there's the rocket jump away from Kilson and Avec esque escape at the moment. I think Garpy knows it's over. He's just uh, picking up some of this armor rather than going straight for the frags. There's the LG coming out from Kilson. Perfect timing onto uh, Garpy. Where's this tenth frag? So, that forged in Garpy's favour. Shouldn't have been. Toxicity in Garpy's favour. Should have been. Error walk. Kyosun's favour. Should have been. And now Furious Heights. Kyosun's favour. Shouldn't have been. That's my. Oh, not oh, put that on silent. Sorry about that. Ten to four final score. So going all the way to best of five, then it is. Oh, okay. I can't scroll up, it's too far. I found. Let's see if I can scroll up. I think it will stop me eventually. Yep. Vote now. So, I don't know how experienced Kilson is on this map. I've never watched him play it, I don't think. But we saw Garpy beat Faz earlier.
So naturally you would have to expect Garpy as the favourite. But with Garpy winning first two maps and Kirsten winning the second two, you momentum is certainly in Kirsten's favour. Live in the G Sports Quake Live 1v1 Invitational Edition number 2. Garpy up against Kirsten in the grand final. And the grand final map, as it turns out, here on Hectic. Watching Garpy off the spawn with that Railgun. Hasn't got Mega. Isn't going to get red. It's just going to look for the Railgun. Maybe even the LG. You could actually get the red here. Well, he opts not to go through the teleport. And still just opts to do the damage as we're going to pick up the frag. Excellent play there from Garpy. Kirsten straight off the spawn with a shotgun, but Garpy just way too tanked. And if we look at these times here, they've got a very good routine going on already early on on this map. We've got red armor after mega health, five seconds afterwards, in fact, and then we've got yellow health, a further yellow health, yellow armor, a further six seconds afterwards. So ideal position for Garpy. Slightly too early for that mega though. A great, great defensive uh, Kirsten. Could actually allow him to get him on this on this yellow armor. Here. Yeah, it does. Great play by Kuss. Fortunate Garp here. Yeah. It was a millisecond too early for the Mega. That's what timing can do to you. And the timing wasn't even bad, so that's just what Luke can do to you, I guess. But third flag nonetheless for Garpy. Hits the Railgun off a spawn as well, but we do know Kirsten now has one. As well as here we're another 100 HP as he got the 50 HP. Garpy's still pretty tanked in the moment. Which sure Kirsten at the moment. He has 150. We've got red and mag yellow at the same time, so. Kilson not out of it just yet, but nice push in from Garpy with the LG. I think Kilson's awkward for a good spawn on this yellow. And actually, time's slowly going to start running away. I think Garpy could have done with delaying the yellow for a second or so more, but nice damage from Kilson before this mega. Still, didn't damage him enough. He did go back up to 200 HP, and there's the fifth frag in. I think it's a typical hectic play, so Kirsten isn't going to be too worried just yet. He would be worried if he doesn't get a frag soon or a good spawn here, though. And with so much time between the armies spawning and so much time to one even spawns. So, not the most of ideal positions, but he's making it work in his favour. Some nice machine gun damage coming out. And providing with a, him use four machine gun bullets to pick up this frag. Interesting frags. Instead, the rocket's going to pick up the frag. There's the red armour. Mega have will go to kill no. Well, it doesn't matter, he's gonna pick up the rail frag. There's the mega finally. Yellow did go to Garpy, but that's Kilsons to bring back. Good time between the items as well, as did Garpy at the beginning of the game. We got six, then fourteen, then twenty-two, so. so that's it now. Missing the second rail, good, not a bit of a problem though. You can now move towards the yellow. Great, great rocket from Garpy though. This could make this fight very, very awkward. Nice LG, it's very good enough as well. There's the frag, we got Mega in five seconds. Still got good time between the red and the yellow as well. There's the Mega, and he's got 10 seconds of garbage time. Problem is he doesn't have any armor, so if he takes a Railgun, one more would be able to finish him off, and now he has to be careful because he did. Garpy knows it as well, you can hear that buzz of the LG, and there's the Railgun, red armor will now go to Garpy, yellow armor to kill Sam, but Garpy in very good position for this next mega, he isn't able to deny the Railgun though, and yeah as the spectator says that, come back to late, that's unfortunate but great great rocket from Garpy by the yellow. Have to be waiting for Garpy here as well. He's my UK compadre, so to speak. But wow, look okay, look at this. We've got mega red and yellow up at exactly the same time. Now, if there was ever a good opportunity for Kilson, it would be now, but wow, there's the frag. But actually, 
Garpy has nothing at the moment. Surely Kyosan is going to be able to pick up a frag. Yeah, there it is. Now he's going to get red and he will get Mega as well. Oh wow, Rocky's been picked up. No, Railgun's been picked up. Whoever dropped that Railgun needs to be slapped in the face because, well, that's hurt Kyosan. But Mega will go in his favour, just not as pretty as he likes. He's going to switch out a shotgun. He will pick up the frag. Still a long time before these armors. Plenty of time for Garpy to do some damage and get on it. Kilson isn't exactly healthy. And in fact, Kilson is going to give up red and take this yellow. We missed that round. Oh, switch out from OG from Garpy. This could be very nice for him. Kilson is going to have to back away. We got Mega up on his spot. We know Kilson is definitely looking out for the teleporter. Garpy's not going to fall for it. And they're back away towards the yellow. Kilson actually could get on this red. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Help is giving up position. Kilson's still in this. Four minutes, 15 seconds remaining. A few seconds between the items. Kilson missing that critical railgun. Red armor would go to him, but he has to be careful of the teleport because he does know there's a mega out through that entrance, and Garpy is going to be able to back away. So, great, great pushing from Garpy. I'm going to switch on to him, even though it's Kilsen to come back into it. Just when it looks like Kilsen's got a good opportunity for a comeback, in comes Garpy. Time and time again. That's a great Ralgon, though. He's going to make the jump over towards that red armor. Two nice railguns. One more would finish him off. Can he connect with one though? And Garpy's actually opting to go for the 25. I think he knows Kilsen is waiting up there. And Garpy, awkward position, but he has waited around long enough for those two 25s. Still back on a Kilsen again who needs to find some armor. Oh wow, two great railguns. One being would finish him off. He will manage to get that red, but not quite enough. Two great railguns in the LG from Garpy. Makes it now a five frag deficit again. In comes Kilsen with the shotgun though. The yellow armor is up for him. He's got the rocky. He doesn't have the railgun. And that's what's been really hurting Kilsen. Just when he's about to pull out a comeback. He gets railed from Garpy when he has no armor in there again. Garpy currently hitting 45 railgun. Kilsen 43. And missing that one for the red. And still time to get into this one. I've seen strengths do nine frags against Sparty in three minutes. Four frags in two and a half would be a doddle for Kilsen right now. He just needs to not take too many of these railguns from Garpy. He's just hitting rail after rail. You know, it's like, Kilsen, you can do this, but I can do it better. Even so, Kilsen picking up that. Eighth frag now. Free frag deficit this time coming straight into the like RP from that railgun. Finally learning. And he has to keep him away from that weapon. And eight seconds before this yellow armor. I think Kilson might miss out on the mega if he's not careful. I think RP will go straight for the mega. No, he's going to be caught out by uh, Kilson's LG. Two minutes remaining now. One frag difference. There's a railgun from Kilson on the spawn and the second one. Tight game now. With the mega up on his spot and the spawn frag. Now Kilson leads for the first time in this match. We've got Mega up on his spot. We've got red in 15 seconds. We've got Me yellow up now. Just been taken. Kilson also going to deny the railgun away from Garpy. Great, great rockets though from Garpy. Down to 52 now Kilson. What can Garpy do leading up to this red? One more railgun will finish Kilson off. Garpy has it in hand. Can he pull this railgun out of the bag? Well, Kilson's going to miss us for sure. Garpy's going to make the jump over. Kilsen going to miss another Railgun. Garpy now. Great, great position. we got Mega coming up here. Five seconds. That's the Railgun on a Kilsen. Kilsen down to just 20 HP. Garpy should go for this Mega first. Wow, great frag. Kilsen missing out on that Mega. Unbelievable frag. One minute now remaining. And out of the teleporter. Garpy could take this one away. 50 seconds remaining. He's got 150 and 100. Red armor up on the spawn. Kilsen could have just thrown this game away. From excellent pay from Garpy. Looking for that LG. Garpy doesn't even need to go for this frag. He just needs to make sure he keeps 
Any armors away, and look, we've got seven seconds before a yellow, 12 seconds before a red, seven before a mega health. That's effectively 20 seconds until Kilsen can come in for a flag. We're going to switch on to Kilsen, he's the guy to watch in his final 20 seconds. In comes Garpy with the LG, is Kilsen's LG good enough? Not quite. 79 to 8, good game, surely going to be called now, unless Kilsen can pull out three consecutive rounds and then a spawn flag. There's the first. Missing the second, though. There's the second. One more would finish him off. He's not going to do it though. Garp is going to be able to pick up the frag. 15 to 12 the final score here on Hectic. Garp taking G Sports Invitational Edition number 2 here in Quake Live. I've been MVC for Level Up TV. This has been a cut provided by Nicer Dicer. So special thanks to him for uh, giving me all the server details. Again, submit your demos to McCormick. Hopefully Garpy and Kilsen will do that, especially Kilsen's Arrow Walk. And we'll be back with you, no doubt, tomorrow for Zotac. Apart from it won't be me, because I have games to play myself, unfortunately. Oh, and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash ZRONVC.